Hello! <laughs> Happy September! I hope you guys are all doing well, happy and healthy and safe where you guys are. Today I was supposed to edit my birthday vlog video but I quickly realized that I had a lot of things missing from those videos that couldn't really tie the story together. It's probably because I didn't bring my camera so I was just using my phone at the time. I also tried to be present and not really recording that much even though I tried to record as much as possible. So I figured that maybe I should just narrate the whole day for you guys and um, yeah by the way the giveaway is still on if you want to get yourself a personality plus chair from Steelcase pop onto my Instagram now check on my reels on how to enter the giveaway we still have one more week to go so if you live in Melbourne this is the perfect time to snatch yourself a new ergonomic chair <laughs> all right with that said, let's start the birthday story. I had a couple of videos already up on my channel about 24 hours before my birthday and also kind of the morning of my birthday which you guys can check here, I guess. <laughs> But yeah, the original plan was to visit this Van Gogh art exhibitions but the exhibition started around 2pm in the afternoon so we wanted to grab some lunch before and after we walked around in the city we decided to go to Rice Pepper Scissors. This restaurant is actually one of my favorite restaurants in Melbourne. It's because they serve this Asian fusion type of cuisines and they serve it in like small little plates. So you can come there with a friend, order a bunch of different things and then you can just share that. And they have this package where you both each pay $45 per person. You'll get five different dishes and each of you will get a rice as well. So that was what we were going for that afternoon. We're at rice, paper, scissors. Just here, so our face doesn't get stretched. <laughs> The most unflattering ever. <laughs> <laughs> the drink matches my color. Today's color is red. Brings good luck. The drink even looks like a weird thing. 888 It's a lucky number Fun Fun You're fun Fun No babe It's go It's so complex. Mm. Kind of the, the tom yum kind of flavor. Lemongrass. Yeah, lemongrass. Charbill calamari salad. Yum. There you go, you Oh, 
After we finished our lunch, we headed straight to make our coffee because we haven't had any coffee yet and Billy needed it so much so we rushed there and get us some coffee before we headed to Melbourne Exhibition Center to see some Van Gogh art. We have to run to the tram station because we're a little bit running out of time. No. No. <laughs> What's the nicer word for um behind schedule? Oh what? Behind schedule. Yeah. We're behind schedule. <laughs> a little bit. But I think we're gonna make it. That's fine. <laughs> Left. have to power walk through our way inside <laughs> barbecue smell <laughs> and then we just like oh can we have a table for barbecue <laughs> but yeah we'll let you know if this is better than a sushi train 
supposed to be, right? I don't know. Actually, back in Indonesia, I would always prefer Japanese barbecue. Japanese barbecue? Yeah, we usually always do like all you can eat type of thing. But in here, Korean barbecue is the superior one. <laughs> or maybe, do you think like Japanese barbecue is more expensive in here? It feels like it's more bougie. Yeah, they're pretty expensive. I feel like every time we're talking about barbecue, everyone always go for the Korean barbecue. Why? So it's just not as popular. I got it right. You can't get it wrong with this stuff. Thank you. Wow, that's super quick. Nice. Because it's the soup. This is like the best lighting you can possibly ask for. I would say the Japanese barbecue was good but I think right now I would prefer Korean barbecue compared to that any day anyway after we finished dinner we were still not quite satisfied to end the night there so we were contemplating into getting a small dessert and after hopping into a couple of different places we decided to go to Papa Ridge that night was pretty cold and we knew that Papa Ridge has quite a few options for a small eats that are warm so that's why we went there we got ourselves some warm drinks, also small little dessert, but by the end of it, we were super, super full. <laughs> mm. It's quite hot, but it's um, yeah. It's like thick. Oh. It's not watery. Yeah. It's like the Asian one. Yeah. This will be our last stop for the day. <laughs> <laughs> trying to think of something to say. Yeah. Are you full? Yeah. And that was the 16th of August. I was actually really happy that day. I get to spend the whole day doing what I love the most, which is eating good food and just spend some time with my loved one. Yeah, this day and age, happiness is kind of getting simpler and simpler even though deep down i still really want to travel but that would do it too anyway the celebration actually didn't just end up there because the main dinner that billy had planned for us is actually falls onto the next day which is the 17th of august he didn't tell me where we were going to go but he just told me that we had to dress up and he also told me to not bring my camera again <laughs> he's not sure if that's like an appropriate place to show up with a camera and stuff so yeah i didn't bring my camera but i did bring my phone and here's how the night went the dinner took place in flower drum restaurant it's a chinese restaurant but kind of like at the top tier of chinese restaurant because apparently they won a lot of awards throughout the years and we got ourselves the banquet menu in which i would say very expensive but it was actually really good i'm honestly still thinking about some of the food that were served there we were served with seven course of dishes including the dessert and everything was the chef's kiss like on the next level even though it's Chinese food they portion it pretty small so that you can actually finish everything well towards the end I couldn't really finish the food because my dress was super tight and it was already not super comfortable for me to wear that dress plus 
being a bloated girl that I am, it was just super uncomfortable for me to sit and eat a lot in that dress. But aside from the dress being super tight, I don't think I could even finish all the dish. But I did try to finish everything in my best ability <laughs> and I truly enjoyed everything. It was quite a new experience dining in a top Chinese restaurant like that. But yeah, it was a lovely night and that's possibly the end of my birthday celebration. Thank you.